this video we're going to do a individual integral that's going to be a basic u substitution integral uh, typically found in a calc 1 class all right so we've got the integral of e raised to the square root of x all over the square root of x dx all right the easiest way to do this is to let your u be whatever e is raised to okay so i'm going to let my u b square root of x all right now i need to take the derivative of that so it is going to be easier if i look at this as an x raised to the one half power that way when i take the derivative of both sides i'll have a du over here i can real easily see that i will have a one half x raised to the negative one half dx all right now before i attempt to solve all the way down for dx i'm going to go ahead and rewrite this getting rid of that negative exponent so I'll have a du is equal to a 1 over 2, and then x to the 1 half power. Let's go ahead and rewrite that as a square root of x dx. Now when I solve for dx, I will have a 2 square root of x du is equal to my dx. All right, doing a little bit more algebra over here makes things a little bit simpler um, as far as not making some silly mistakes. Then I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to start substituting. I'm going to have an e. I'm going to substitute the square root of x there with my u. I'll leave the square root of x in the bottom. And then I'm going to replace the dx there with what it equals, which is a 2 square root of x du. All right, now you can see why I left that square root of x there in the bottom is because I wanted the square root of x's to fall out so when those square root of x's then fall out i can pull the two out in front i'll have a two integral of e to the u du all right which is what i needed i needed to get down to just the integral of e to the u so that i could integrate that all right integrating e to the u is e to the u so i will have a two e to the u plus c and then i can replace my u with what it equals as square root of x so then i'm going to have a final answer of 2 e to the square root of x plus c so definitely just a straightforward u substitution integral definitely one that would be seen in a calc 1 class and what can create the problem is if you go ahead and substitute right away for everything that some people might put a u back in there and then that you would have been left with that so just knowing when to leave things in when to go ahead and substitute out and look, being able to look ahead and knowing you needed to cross that out is why i chose to leave that in so definitely thanks for watching if the videos are helping please share with a friend so they can benefit too and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thanks